Hi there, I'm Robert Kessler, joined today with the star of Real Housewives of New Jersey, Melissa Gorga. Thanks so much for being Hi. here. So uh, you have a new book. I do. I see, can you tell us a little about it? Yeah, it's called Love Italian Style, and it's all the secrets to my hot and happy marriage. Um, you know what, it's just a lot about how I believe that you should treat your man like a king, and you in return will be the queen. And it has a lot of fun stories in it. It's a fun read. Um, Joe and I get approached all the time about our marriage and just how we keep it fresh and kind of spicy. And um, I give all my tips in there to the ladies. And Joe gives his Joe mints in there, and he tells ladies what men want. Well, so on the show, um, I mean, it's pretty clear that you guys do have a lot of fun together. So what are some of those uh, tips that you have to keep things fun? Well, I believe that you still need to flirt with your husband. Flirt with him the way you flirted with him when you first started dating. I think that that's so important, and a lot of couples lose that as time goes on. Um, other things are just passion. You need to have passion in your marriage. I feel like if you don't you know, keep the passion, you're living with your best friend. So it's important to keep the passion going. Remind him why you're his wife. Remind him to come home every night because he's coming home to you and that's where the comfort is in the home. So I think you need to let your ego go at the door and say, you know what, I can have an ego at work, I can have an ego with my friends, but with my husband, I'm gonna let it go and, and vice versa. And it trickles down throughout the whole house and everybody's happy. What about kids, how does that change stuff? It changes it because your kids are ultimately happy if mommy and daddy are happy. So if I'm feeling wonderful and like a queen because my husband treats me so great and he's complimenting me all the time and vice versa, then my kids are happy because they, they see us happy. So it trickles down. Uh, well, as for Housewives, um, have you guys started filming a new season yet or what, what are the plans for that? No, we just filmed the reunion, which is gonna be very different this year. I think it's gonna be a different reunion, but very good, very interesting. Um, a lot of support at the reunion, and um, I think the fans are going to love it. Well, that's good. It's um, probably a bit of a different tone from what we're used to in reunions. Uh, I think so. I think it's a little bit of a different tone, which is a good thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be nice probably to see everybody uh, getting along. Well, uh, <laughs> some of the time, yeah. You can't expect perfection. Right? I mean, don't expect perfection, but it's just a different vibe. It is. So for another season, do you... Is we don't know. They around? never they never tell us about what's going to happen next and what's, you know, nobody knows who's coming back and who's not. They keep it very like tight-lipped. Bravo's really good at that. <laughs> well, um I wanted to just a bit of a topic pivot here, but um after the hurricane and then there's been those fires on the right. boardwalk recently. Oh. What's the I, since you're so, you know, obviously you're so close to Jersey and it's your home, what's the the sort of the feeling down there about all this. You know, it's it's very sad for me. I grew up on the boardwalk. I grew up on the Jersey Shore in Tom's River, New Jersey. So it touches, I have a lot of friends and a lot of uh, people I grew up with that now have businesses down there. And it's terrible. I don't know why it just keeps happening, you know, to the Jersey Shore. But we are strong and they will keep rebuilding. Um, my heart goes out to all the businesses out there and who are suffering. It's just, it's terrible. But we need to keep going down to visit. Everyone needs to really support every summer and get down there because it's just, it's terrible what's happened. I was in Atlantic City twice this summer, so I'm Were you? Good. doing my part. Good, <laughs> I love good, Atlantic City that's what I like to hear. So, absolutely. Well, uh, what about, so you got a book and um, the show, what else is going on with you? You seem so busy all the time. Yeah, you know, um, well, the kids keep me busy. I have three kids too, but I work with Johnny right now, which is pretty amazing. Amazing. He um, manages Justin Timberlake, he manages Akon, um, he made NSYNC and the Jonas Brothers and all of this. So it's pretty exciting to have someone like him, you know, with me and working on my projects with me. I just released a new single and it's called Never Let Me Go. It's on iTunes right now. And um, I'm excited about it. I just think it's, it's good and we're working on an EP. So there's more things coming soon with the music. Excellent, good to hear. Well, Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, if you wanna pick up Love Italian Style, it's in stores right now. Thanks so much.